In 1817, one man laid the scientific foundation for the study of a disease that would one day bear his name. For decades, Parkinson's disease has been defined by the malfunction of nerve cells in the brain that produce dopamine. It's a disease with a broad range of symptoms, and it affects people unevenly. This has always puzzled scientists. Previous research has indicated that there could be more than one type of Parkinson's disease, but it's never been documented until now. Using advanced PET and MRI imaging techniques, researchers from Aarhus University have found that Parkinson's is actually two separate diseases, depending on where in the body it originates. In some patients, Parkinson's seems to begin in the intestines. It then migrates through the nervous system to the brain. But in others, it begins in the brain and later travels to the intestines and other organs like the heart. This led the researchers to propose the two subtypes of Parkinson's disease, body first and brain first. With this new study, the different symptoms suffered by patients makes a lot more sense. It also opens the door for the possibility that Parkinson's can be treated through the intestines and by affecting the microbiome. There's a lot of research still to be done, but the study gives knowledge and hope for better treatment of people affected by Parkinson's disease in the future.